Hey everybody, Bormac here for Avernum. When we left off, I was near Blosk, and I had forgotten to open my uh, timer before I started. Okay, so, what were we doing? I wish there was a map I could look at. First things first, I need to find a Darmon. No cows. No. We're in the Darmon area. This is Fort Saffron. Uh, I don't need to talk to them. This must be Darmon. Let's get the... Okay. Interesting. You've found the trash heap of the city of Darmon. Garbage is heaped up against a wall. There seems to be a few fo footprints in the refuse. Good job making this, you know, your front door. Very successful farms have sprung up around here. We've read that already, I'm pretty sure. In another reality where I hadn't saved loaded at some particular point. You've entered a hollowed out uh, area in the center of a huge stone mound. Inside you see cramped buildings and pale people going about their daily business. Soldiers on leave are carousing and enjoying their free days before going out to fight the Slists. This is Darmon, a large town, a hollowed out of living rock of Avernum. And in here somewhere is a priest trainer. Probably right here, at this temple. Hey, temple person. Are you the head priest of this temple? What can you tell me? Wait, let me just read this. The temple is run by a muscular man with raven black hair, pointed beard, and a huge mace. He radiates confidence and barely contained power. Are you the head priest in this temple? I guard this place of light and peace. In these dangerous times, I welcome all here who come with open hearts and peaceful intent. I provide healing and information. What kind of information? He grins. Well, you seem to be new to the area, so I'll tell you what's nearby. The road north... Uh, uh, to the north is the Abyss, home of the misfits of Avernum. Fort Remote is to the south. It's not very useful. I have heard that the caves to the west contain a dragon, but I know little about it. Also, if purchasing spells interests you, I will sometimes help the more noble of the adventurers in our land. Priest spells... Sanctuary, mm. Divine mm. Fire, Control Foes. Oh, I'm not... I need money. Wow, I'm broke. Well, we can fix that, but first... I don't remember where Control Foes level 3 was. Do I have anything I could actually sell? Well, I mean, aside from the obvious... Clement could sell some of his lightning wands. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. We'll find more treasure. Oh, hush. First things first. I remember where Divine Fire level 3 is. I also remember hating these cows. If I knew where to take you stupid things, I would definitely do that. We're going to the bat cave. Uh, that early cave where we saw our first bit of lava in the game, I'm pretty sure. 
It was one of the optional areas early on. I'm going to need to start collecting level 3 spells again now that I have them all. Because I'm pretty sure I found some books I couldn't make use of. Either through lack of knowledge or just that I didn't have the spells. But this is where Divine Fire level 3 was. Right there. Oh man, these early caves were so simple. I mean, talk about uncomplicated. Look at this. Decipher it. Clement learns Divine Fire level 3. Sweet. Hi. Yeah. You're cute. That was fun. As for the others, I don't have a clue. That's the one I remembered. Uh, just uh, at that at that particular moment. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. The way down is over here. Yeah, there it is. So... What did the scimitar people want me to do? Also... Oh, the spiders. The spiders. It's freaking goblins. Why would I want to fight that? Freaking spiders. No, I don't want to fight a single cat person either. Gotta go back to the spiders. They have a spell I need too. Someone just reminded me. And possibly a pendant I missed? I think I got that one. I don't have any clue about number four. And then Pyrog has one. I have three of five. Brooches. One, two, three. I don't actually know which brooches I have and which ones I don't out of the list uh, I found in Erica's Tower. Which ones go where. But I do remember that the uh, Ariana had a spell for me. I could probably get over to uh, giant territory from right there, just fly. Where the heck are the spiders? Okay, I think it's... somewhere around here.
Uh huh. Okay. Over here, maybe. That's where I found a crystal. I could have sworn there was a spell in the Ariana cave somewhere. Maybe it was in the generic giant spider cave. Oh, uh, the uh, talking spiders. Although I suppose Ariana can talk too, they're just spiteful. Nothing over here. Nothing in there. Well, I didn't see it. I could have sworn there was some sort of spell in here. There's spell casting spiders, after all. But it doesn't seem to be the case. That's okay. Let's see if I can make it back to the giant's cave without dying. Aha! I did it. Of course, this is the monk. The monks. But, you know, we're on the right track. It's over here, though, across this, which also isn't a big deal. Now we're in the giant's cave. There's a giant village, I think. Nope. Probably basilisks. Nope, don't even know what those are. Not interested. Come across a giant quarry. Blocks of dressed stone are being uh, created at the bottom of a huge pit by a large group of giants. Fortunately, you don't think they've seen you. E small pile of raw colored stones. They look like gems in the rough. I don't care. I could sell them. But, you know, thievery. Human stay east or die. Nah. We will eat you. We do not like you. Cave of gents. Stay o So stay away, the gents. Okie dokie. I'll make a note of that. Many offerings have been left uh, near the large cave entrance to the north. Bits of rotting food, old weapons, crude stone carvings, and other pitiful gifts. It looks like uh, they've been picked through, everything valuable was taken, and everything else was left to rot. There's heavy sulfur smell in the air. Layer of Pyrog. Leave offerings at entrance. That's a dragon. We don't really want to mess with him. Darn it. Rrr. Oops. It's just a generic healing potion.
can't refly. You have to land before you can fly again. Long ago, someone chained a giant here and left him or her to die. The cave lizards have left nothing but a skeleton. Around the neck is a necklace. Small for it, but large and wearable for you. Let's take it. Josiah got a necklace. Some kind of magic necklace. Okay, save the game. Fresh, sparkling spring flows from a small crack in the cave wall. Let's drink some. Energy flows through you. You become more nimble. Everyone got bonus dexterity. Nice. That was well worth the trip. getting anywhere from here. You find by the side of this secluded lake an ancient stone building. Inside you find a moldy altar. Strange markings cover its surface. Let's pray at the altar. Kneel and worship. Strange dizziness for a moment, but it passes and you feel refreshed. Yay, refreshing. I don't even know what that did. Just pray at random altars. What could possibly go wrong? Not getting anywhere from here. a small lost band of goblins. They're clearly terrified, both of you and the giants that hunt these caves. They see you, one of them says, Please, please, don't hurt us! We will give you all our money if you let us go. Please don't kill us. Let's leave. Cons give you a few coins and run away in terror. Twenty coins! Giant fortress. It's in a fortress of giants, not a gigantic fortress. Though, if giants live and work there, it's probably pretty big. giant here, apparently ambushed by a bunch of giant lizards. On his stuff, you find a human greatsword, which he must have been using as a dagger. Probably steel. I think that's all the random exploration done.